Welcome to Rob's Rogues and the BatmanUniverse.net. And today we're taking a look at the GameStop exclusive Batman Arkham Knight Battle Damage Batman. Now, I already have a two Batman from this wave. I have the single carded Batman and then my wife for our anniversary uh, bought me the Arkham 5 pack. And it's nice that that Batman was in a different paint scheme. He had a nice glossy paint. His ears weren't bent. So I thought, well, I have the single card and I have, I have two Batman. And then I heard about this one and I thought, I really do not need a third exact same Batman that has a little bit of battle damage, but not much. And I kind of saw him in the store and I thought, I'm not paying $25 for a figure that I already have uh, that I really don't need. I, I could battle damage one up myself. So uh, in the GameStop I was going to had a lot of these. I bet they had 15 of them. And as you can see here, there's a clearance sticker on him. So I thought if I just wait long enough, maybe I'll get him for really cheap. So I don't know if you can see the price here, $9.97. They did mark it down from 24 to 14, and I waited on it. Um, this is not what I paid for it, actually. Uh, this, he was the last one on the shelf, and I was talking to the manager, and I was kind of looking at him, and he said... Um, oh, you got to pick him up. It's the last one. It's who knows how long he's going to be here. And I'm like, nah, I don't know. And I explained, you know, my hesitation of buying him. He's like, if I take a buck off of it, will you buy it just so I can get him out of the store? And I'm like, for eight ninety seven, Sure. I'll buy a figure for eight ninety seven. So sometimes it just pays to hold out when it comes to things like this. I know some people rushed right out to go have it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait. There's going to be a GameStop somewhere that's going to have a butt ton of these. And that's right, I said butt ton. And they're going to start discounting it. And not a lot of people buy action figures at GameStop. So that's what I was banking on. And that's exactly what happened. And I think I got a really good battle damaged version. I'll kind of point some things out that I saw in a package. And there's more damage and dirt and debris on this figure than I actually thought there was going to be. So uh, we'll pause the camera here real quick. I'll get Battle Damage Batman out, and we'll take a look at the now three Batman that I have. We will be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, we've got the GameStop exclusive Batman Arkham Knight Battle Damage Batman out of package. And I got to say, um, now that I have him out of package, and uh, now that I paid uh, you know $9.97 for him at GameStop, I'm actually glad to have him. Um, I didn't think this was a $20 worthy uh, uh, pickup when there were other figures uh, from the series that I really wanted. And uh, this is my third Batman from the set, and I'm uh, going to be picking up the uh, Batman and Arkham Night Thugs 2-pack. So that is going to be my fourth Batman out of the set. And... Uh, that's one that I'm like, I, I appreciate the battle damage, and I got the Arkham 5 pack, so I got a Batman in there, and I ended up buying the single-carded Batman. So a single-carded Batman is on me. Um, I guess I I told myself I was going to wait to pick up the Arkham 5 pack, but neither here nor there. Picking it up for uh, basically 10 bucks is a, is a really good deal, and I... I knew once GameStop got these that they were going to be sitting on a lot of these. And uh, my particular GameStop, I got like two cases worth. And I think maybe a couple people bought them the day they came out. And I knew I know one guy uh, did because I was in line picking up something else. And uh, I was wearing a Arkham Knight shirt and uh, the guy behind the counter said, Oh, are you going to get one of these too? I said, Nah, I'm going to wait. And I waited a couple months, and sure enough, they were just wanting to move and clear house, so they started discounting a lot of these stuff. Actually, uh, the GameStops right now are discounting the Grey Capullo series figures, so if you haven't you know, bought any of those, it might be a good opportunity to go to GameStop because you can get some for... 10 bucks. I've seen some go for 14 and 12 just depending on the GameStop and how many. Uh, Batman have. does come with accessories and he came with the accessories that he came with the last time. I don't think uh, the original Batman came. I think he did. 
yeah, I, at first I didn't think he came with uh, this same hand. Yeah, the exact same accessories that he came with before. Uh, the alternate hand, which, you know, would go here, um, is the only hand that can go there. Uh, the same Batarang, and if you remember from the last time, I broke this line launcher, uh, this little piece right here, um, off of the standard Batman, and I believe I got one of these with a five pack. So now I've got two of them. I can actually give one uh, to Nightwing since he used it in the video game as well. And eventually Batgirl, whenever we get the Batgirl Oracle two pack. But uh, neither here nor there, so it's kind of cool to have another one of these. This piece is so, so frail and uh, brittle right there. So it may just go on a, a parts table in my uh, pseudo Bat Cave, but those are the accessories that. Uh, the armored Batman come with. All of that said, uh, the battle damage that's on here, um, there's a lot more than what I initially thought. Uh, the preview images didn't do justice to the amount of uh, battle damage that's on here. Now, that being said, um, I don't think it's, you know, it's not like there's a shoulder pad missing, but there are scuffs and scrapes. Uh, there's some dirt and grime here. Um, this guy right here on his chin, uh, has what I would appear to be say it's some dirt. Um, I actually think it's some black uh, paint that is kind of rubbed off from the package. Uh, the other ones that were at the GameStop um, didn't have this that I that I saw right before I picked uh, him up. Um, but I like that there is a little bit throughout the face there, and I'll bring up the other Batman here. Here is the standard Batman, more of the clean face. So even just in and around the neck, you can kind of see uh, that there's some dirt and grime, and the dirt and grime has gone up through the cowl, and here's the standard Batman. So they did a really pretty good job of uh, dirtying and scuffing uh, Batman up here. So you kind of see some of the suit being worn right there. Uh, it's down and around the belt. Let's kind of back this out a little bit. Uh, the boots are... Uh, dirty and muddy, so is the back of the cape. You can kind of see all of that, which that happens in the game. Once you're running around, you kind of start all nice and pristine, and as the game goes, it gets more tattered and torn and um, broken. The cape's not frayed at all. Um, it wasn't frayed in the video game, but you can see all of the mud and splatter that's around there, even in the back part of the cowl, too. So... Uh, the same exact Batman that we've already received as we're getting here really close. So we'll do side by side here. You can see just the difference in uh, the color of the belt. How the boots look. So they really did a, a really decent job of dirtying up uh, this Batman. Um, is he a worthy pick? Is he a necessary pickup? Unless you're a completist and you have to have every single figure, then yeah, you're probably going to go out and go get him. Uh, now's a good opportunity to go to your local GameStop and go pick him up. You're going to be able to pick him up very cheaply. And uh, is one that I'm, you know, glad to have in my collection. I'm glad I didn't pay, you know, $22 for him. Um, but he's not going to be overly prominent on my shelves. Uh, either as I have, you know, other characters that I like. As I said, I have four um, or three Batman right now. Uh, this guy's not even on a shelf. He's up in my review room, kind of uh, watching <laughs> over my videos. I use the uh, Arkham uh, Five Pack Batman that has more of the gloss uh, paint throughout the suit, which I think actually uh, looks even better than the standard version. But this is a, g a good one to uh, track down if you could pick him up. Uh, fairly cheaply. If not, um, you if you've already have Batman, um, or if you don't have Batman, I can't see you going out and getting the you know dirty, muddy version Batman. I think you'd probably want the standard. But it's it's a cool figure to have nonetheless, especially if you're you know doing some ABCA stuff or you want to pose Batman and you know just make him look like he's been fighting for a long time then this would be a cool one to have. So today we've been taking a look at the GameStop exclusive Batman Arkham Knight Battle Damage Batman. And as always this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the BatmanUniverse.net signing off saying we will see you guys next time.